Welcome back to Travel Now, best of culinary destinations. I'm Karen Shaler, your host. When you're talking about top culinary trips, you want to include the Aquitaine region in France, where you find the famous Bordeaux, and in the south of France, the Basque region. So I took a camera with me to give you an insider, intimate look to some of the world-class wining and dining destinations. Visiting France's legendary city of Bordeaux, known as the wine capital of the world, is like taking a step back in time. In 2007, the city became a UNESCO World Heritage Site after historic 18th century buildings were brought back to their original glory. Now the city has almost 400 designated historical monuments and a cool modern side with excellent shopping. In Bordeaux, the place to stay is the city's only five-star hotel, the Regent Grand. Here they serve up some fantastic crepes. Some of the 150 rooms even have their own bar and this view of the city's beautiful opera house. Here in Bordeaux, besides the beautiful architecture and fantastic shopping, the city is known for its food and wine. Bordeaux has more than 1,000 restaurants, and almost everywhere you'll look, you'll find fresh oysters on the menu, along with duck, foie gras, and steak, all specialties of the region. A great deal for lunch is Chez Greg. For just about $14, you get a juicy steak, a glass of wine, and coffee and sweets. At the tourist office, we organize a lot of uh, wine, you know, wine and cheese uh, tasting courses, um, uh, food courses, wine tours in the vineyard around food. So we like our food and we like our wine. <laughs> but if you want to do more than just eat the food, you can learn how to make it at the Regent Grand, where during a two-hour course, I whipped up all kinds of delicious dishes. A trip to Bordeaux should also include award-winning wine chateaus, that help make up the Aquitaine region in France. In the Aquitaine, you have close to 5,000 different wine chateaus that are open to the public. They range from the modern to the traditional. While touring the wine region, I was lucky to take part in an actual wine harvest at Chateau Palomé. Here, the winemaker is one of four progressive women known as the Medicans. Each of the women have their own wine chateau and offer special classes, giving a rare glimpse inside Bordeaux winemaking. My next stop, the gorgeous Chateau Talon. It features wine tasting dinners and wine classes. We think that uh, Bordeaux um, is a dream for a lot of people and uh, we think that uh, uh, it's interesting for them to come and to see how we make our product. A bike tour through the saint Emilion wine region is another fantastic way to get a true feel for the area. Along the way, you do tastings at special wineries like Chateau Cannon, owned by the famous Chanel family. One of my favorite stops was sharing lunch with a group of grape pickers at Moulin Lagent. The food was authentic as it gets, potatoes, vegetables, beef, and plenty of wine. Anyone who works the harvest gets their meals and room for free. People around the world are signing up for this unique learning vacation. This area is also known for top quality bed and breakfast, with Clau de la Barbane being an excellent choice. Here there are four bedrooms, gourmet meals, and friendly hosts. When you're visiting Bordeaux, a great side trip to take is to head south to Biarritz. It's known for its seafood and its surfing. What I love about Biarritz is its authentic charm and breathtaking scenery. It's a favorite of surfers, and you'll not only find great waves here, but dozens of different seafood options, all on display at this colorful indoor market. A top bed and breakfast to try here is the Hotel Beaumanoir. It was once an old horse stable and now boasts beautiful rooms, a pool, chic decor, and even its own champagne bar. Another seaside town dishing up great cuisine is the quaint Saint Jean de Luce. The Grand Hotel's soothing spa is a perfect place to escape after too much whining and dining. And when you're ready, the hotel has the top-rated Rosewood restaurant serving up ocean views. One of my favorite foodie stops in the Basque region was the tiny town of Sar, where at the Hotel Lastry, you can order up the government-forbidden white pigeon for around $45. To wrap up this trip, I stopped in the town of Po to check out the Hotel Park Beaumont, it's getting rave reviews for its unique design and its delicious restaurant. So in the end, I left France a few pounds heavier, but let me tell you, every calorie was worth it to experience this unique world-class wine and dining destination. 
We want to thank you for joining us on this journey as we have traveled the globe, highlighting some of the top culinary destinations around the world, and even showing you how you can take some classes and be your own top chef. For more of our travel shows, be sure to go to abcnews.com. You can just click on travel. Until next time, safe travels.